hell's with all the dog versions of Home Alone? In the tradition of Pups Alone and Bone Alone comes Junkyard Dogs. A movie that isn't about junkyard dogs per se, but sometimes at night they leave their homes and go hang out in a junkyard for a little bit. But why? They live in the nicest areas in town. I've seen enough movies from Andy the Talking Hedgehog to all of the David Dakota Talking Animal movies to know that the lower the budget, the wealthier the neighborhood it takes place in. And yes, the dogs do talk, and the sound quality is quite on par with something like a talking cat. Oh, you're here. Of course I'm here. I'm a punctual pup. Plus, this is an important day. Are you sure this is the dog talking? You sure the handyman isn't just hiding in the walls trying to trick poor Denise Richards into thinking the dog is talking? That would make sense. Most of the time they don't know the dogs are talking, but then there's other times where it's like she answers them. And the people are nice enough to leave pauses so the dogs can finish talking. I'm very confused about the rules here. When the dogs are around humans, they talk without their mouths moving. But when they're around other dogs, oh, brace yourself. Jackpot, can you sound the alarm? Sure. Anything for you, Houdini. I'm ready to fire. Good lord, no wonder they couldn't do this around humans. The way their mouths are moving, it's somehow making their eyes look dead. Like they've been stuffed and animated to show the kids, see? The family dog is still alive, he's fine. The creepiest is the pug, with its mouth being one of the seven doors of death. They have to make the mouths look terrifying to distract from all the fart jokes. 72.3% to be exact. Ew, gross. What you eat for dinner? Sometimes I think the editor just got drunk and said, screw it, let's put some hearts on the screen. Oh, is there a fight going on? I don't know what to do, so here's some effects splooge sprayed everywhere. The plot is that Denise Richards and Patrick Muldoon are engaged, and while everyone on the block is at the wedding, two robbers plan on breaking into everyone's home. They're the right team for the job, because one is a tough guy, and the other's just stupid. Haha, <laughs> dumbass, he can't even eat pie correctly. Between the crooks and the kids, all of them are just trying to out-sitcom act each other, sometimes in the same scene. I have half a mind to call the police! The police? No, don't do that! Well, they keep him locked up! <gasps> As for the booby traps, it's your standard hit-to-the-head traps, and sometimes the budget is so low, it can't actually show the house getting messed up. There's some weirdness going on, too. Like when the dogs suddenly have superpower barking that can affect machinery. So the movie isn't quite as cheap as one of the Dakota movies or Andy the Talking Hedgehog. It's about on the same level as Pups Alone was. I'll be nice and give it a D minus, only because of the montage of the dog eating fridge leftovers, complete with this song. <laughs> I want pizza with some hot dogs Give me some mac and cheese and some applesauce Give me some tasty spaghetti and some meatballs Give me From now on, I'll always be singing that song whenever I cook anything. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe to our channel today, and we'll see you next time. Oh.